Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do several different things with you guys. First, I'm gonna go ahead and announce a shout out. Also, the winner of the last giveaway from the MAB group, Middle Age Beauties, and then the new giveaway that's going on in the MAB group, as well as just a little bit of a chit chat about something with hair and maybe your thoughts. So if you guys would like to stick around and hear what's all the exciting and different things going on and a little chat, keep on watching. Okay, first I'm going to go ahead and start off with the shout out. It's supposed to be on shout out Saturday and I do tend to sometimes get behind and I feel so bad doing that. Um, it's just the way things fall and everything, but I always like to make sure I do the shout out for them because there is so many wonderful channels out there, so many wonderful people out there, and I just try to help as best as I can and when I can. So Zelma and her daughter, Laya, are the ones who I'm doing the shout out for. I believe that's how you say her name, Laya. If I didn't say it right, I, I apologize, I, but I, I believe that's how you say it. But them two are so cute, so wonderful. It's kind of nice to see the mother-daughter kind of you know, thing going on there, bond that they have, the fun they have on there. She's not in, I think Lai's not in every single video with her mom, but for the most part, they do like a lot of unboxing with um, the subscription boxes. Like they'll have two in one kind of a video. So they maybe might do the Allure one and then maybe the Birch box. Also, uh, she does do um, the decluttering a lot. She does do her, go through her stuff and declutter. Um, she does do reviews, she does do tags, she's just a little, just a little of everything, but a lot of it is in reference to the beauty uh, community, so yeah, if you guys would go ahead and please go check uh, the channel out, Zelma and Laya, I will have the link down below, maybe go over and subscribe if you like, put a thumbs up, show some love and everything, that would be so much appreciated, so just remember it's Zelma and Laya. For the giveaway winner, there was a giveaway going on that Sherry Nicholson had done. Boy, was it a nice giveaway. It was for the uh, new Chocolate Shop palette from Too Faced. And also there was two, I can't remember right offhand the name of the palettes and a company, but they were more of a Canadian drugstore brand, I believe. And they were like limited editions. So the winner got all those items. And the winner for that was Nancy Webb. So Nancy Webb, congratulations. You are the winner. So congratulations to you. On to the new giveaway. Okay, so the new giveaway just started and the new giveaway is being hosted by Rosa Beauty and Fashion. If you guys have been subscribed to me for quite some time or just maybe in general you do know Rosa Beauty and Fashion, you came from her channel to mine and everything, she is the one that's hosting it and oh my goodness she went all out in the video and just presentation everything. It was pretty, she is very creative in a lot of um, ways with the way she likes to do her videos. And all I'm gonna say is it is very creative and has a Halloween theme going on. So I will put a link to that video, the giveaway video. Um, I do know there is a $50 gift card to MAC Cosmetics. Um, I believe the Sephora's uh, favorites, the lip uh, one is in there. Um, I believe there's some nails, like some kind of press-on nails. And I think there was something else. I can't quite think of the, off the top of my head, but those are some of the items that she's giving away. And the giveaway has started on the 18th. So it's from the 18th of October to October 31st. Halloween itself. And then the uh, giveaway winner will be announced, I believe, on the 1st of November. So you have from the 18th, which already started now, to the 31st. Rules are, is you must be subscribed to all of the 
ladies in the MAP group. I'll have all their links down below. So you must be subscribed to each one of us. And kind of show that you are subscribed if you could please, because that helps out a lot because we have to double check all of us to make sure that you are subscribed. And sometimes when it's hidden, it's kind of hard to not give credit to that person because then we don't know for sure. Um, you could comment, but we're not for sure that you're subscribed. So um, if you are very interested in this giveaway, that would help us out a lot, if you could please. Also, you must um, comment on Rosa's beauty fashion video, the giveaway video. So those are basically it. And you must be 18 years of age, of course. You must be of 18 years of age to so to be a part of any giveaways. I'll have all links down below to the Mab ladies, the link to her giveaway, and also the shout out that I did. So I'll have all those links down below. Please go check everybody out, show them some love, thumbs up and everything, and super exciting. So I, I think that's that's pretty awesome. On to just a little chit chat. I'm going to try not to stay on here too long and do this because I do have a lot of things to do. Kind of got behind on everything. And so I do apologize about getting behind on some things. But I wanted to talk to you guys about hair. Okay. And you know me, I love to make sure I take care of my hair. And I wanted to discuss this because of two people. And I will also have their links down below. I'll have quite a few links on, on this one here, but one is Lulu on beauty and the other one is Melissa Autry. Um, if you don't know uh, Lulu on beauty, uh, which I'm sure maybe a majority of you guys do that is subscribed to me. Um, she does blogs. She does have her own videos or her channel and everything. And she is in part of a group ladies who collab, which I'm in that I have collabed with them a couple times. And she has been in, in one of my videos as a special guest for my, what I'm liking and not so much. And then Melissa Autry, I think a majority of you guys probably would know who Melissa Autry is. She is pretty well known out there now. Um, she's a wonderful gal, funny gal. I can, she, she's just her. She, she's being herself. She has a good time. She has a crazy time and she can be real serious too. You know that about her. And I have been subscribed to her for a very long time. Um, as a matter of fact, between her, Miss Lola Lynn and a couple of them, them girls. I, I've been with them for quite some time and watched them a, a good bit. So Lulu had messaged me and asked if I see Melissa uh, Autry's last recent video at that point, which was about some hair products and like uh, a hair company do not buy. Um, they're the worst products or something like that was the title. I can't fully remember, but something like that. And I was like, oh, wow, no, I haven't, you know, like, um, I watch as I go basically. So that's how I watch people's videos. I was like, no, but that intrigued me. So when I seen that, I'm like, I'm going to go watch it now. And I clicked on it and she was on there and she was discussing about how her hair, she wasn't really feeling it was up to par lately. She wasn't liking how it was looking and everything. And I know for myself, like everybody always compliments about my hair. And I so appreciate that. I love the kind words that... It is very touching. I love that. I love hearing people talk about that, but I wasn't myself feeling like my hair was looking the greatest, but I do see it on a daily basis more than you guys do. And so I just wasn't feeling like it was looking its best. Like, I don't know, you know, I just wasn't feeling it lately. Okay. So she's talking about, she wasn't feeling like her hair was looking the greatest and all this kind of stuff. And she went to her hairdresser and she was getting her hair done. And her hairdresser said, what are you doing to your hair? It looks um, kind of offish. Like it's, it looks the worst that it, it has in, in, in quite some time or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Like I said, I'll put a link to that video down below. And she said she sat there for a moment and she started thinking, you know, like, well, you know, about for her hair. And she said it crossed her mind and she started thinking, well, I've been using OGX. And I just thought, oh snap, when I heard her say that, okay. Cause she was saying, you know, she gets PR from them, which I do too. You guys know that cause I've been sharing with you guys and you know, she gets PR from them too. And so she's been using her products, trying them out and everything. The lady, I guess, showed her hair, you know, like comb through her hair and was showing her this product build up and just whatever. And here basically it's drying out her hair. It's drying out her hair. 
So I was like, okay, um, hmm. I think she said another customer was in and they were told something about their hair. I think it was some gentleman and he had, he was using something from OGX. It was some kind of one of their bombs, their air bombs. I, like I said, I'll put the link down below. You can listen to it. So, okay. So, which if you guys have been watching my videos about what I'm liking and not so much, like, you know, some of the products I've shared with you guys and it was total flop for me with some of the products. Some products were okay. I felt like they, you know, they didn't do too bad. They were okay and they worked. And then there was several products that I thought, you know, hey, I really like these and I probably would repurchase them, which I have. And my, rep my products that worked for me was the uh, coconut curl one, that the coconut curl shampoo and conditioner was seemed to be the only shampoo and conditioner that I really, really liked out of everything that they've sent me. And I think I've mentioned that before the vitamin B five, uh, spray. I've always liked that. And I was liking the mousse and the hairspray. And I'm not sure if there's something else I'm missing in there, but those are some of the products that I've loved. Uh, the other stuff was just, meh, you know, like it was okay. Or, um, the oxygen one and a couple other ones were like, no, they didn't do my hair good. They actually, I almost felt like my hair was felt more knotted or something. It was kind of whatever. And the proganics, which that's their pro line was just, um, nah, too. It was just all right. It wasn't, um, I wasn't really, you know, whatever in that line too much. So I, I know for myself when I went, now I do have a hairdresser I do like to see, but I don't get to see her all the time. So I go to another salon and well, it's like Fantastic Sam's. And only thing I don't like about Fantastic Sam's is the girls come and go, you know, so you can get new people a lot of different times. So they come and go, you know, the girl I was talking to, we were just talking about hair products and all these different things. And we got onto the when subject, you know, talked about that. And she said what she felt about the when and she was telling me about Pantene, which a lot of people love Pantene, but she said there was some stuff in Pantene that is not good for the hair and you'd be quite surprised. And she had mentioned how she, you know, whatever was somebody's hair and they had this debris on their hair from Pantene, you know, like that that's what they were using. And she was showing them, you know, I guess one of the things I want to say for sure is I'm not going to be ditching any company. I'm not ditching any person or anything. I'm not any of that stuff. It's just me thinking here like, hmm, and what are your thoughts? Well, Melissa Audrey, I totally trust her opinion because I do feel she's very truthful and honest on here. So I think that's what really started me think because at first when that girl was telling me about the Pantene, I do like the Pantene Age Defy. That works for me. Other Pantene products, I'll be honest, have not worked for me. I will be honest on that. But the Age Defy one, does work really good for me. And it's probably the only one I'll probably ever get from Van Dean. Maybe sometimes, maybe try something depending. But now keep in mind, just like our face, we all have different complexions. Some have oily, some have dry, some have combination. Just, you know, we're all over off the chain. So what works for me might not work for you. And then vice versa, what works for you might not work for me. So, it, you know, that all plays into everything. So same for hair. We all have very different hair texture. Some's thin, some's thick, some's curly, some wavy, coarse, frizzy, just all over the place. Now, Melissa's hair to me, from what I can tell, is kind of maybe thin or in between. I don't know if she has natural curls. I don't think so. I'm not sure, but hers isn't as curly thick as mine. But for her and I to have the same kind of thing going made me wonder. And here's what I normally did when I did my hair. Normally what I used to do for my hair is I always rotated and like maybe one week I used the L'Oreal products. Next week I used um, maybe the OGX products. The next week I might have used um, the Brew the week after that, you know, like just different companies like down the line, like one week this, one week that, because I, I would rotate. Uh, so that's what I normally did. Well, when I started getting the PR from OGX, I was, I told my husband, I'm like, geez, you know, like I had so much, I thought there's no point in me buying any shampoo or conditioners because I'm pretty stocked here for a bit. So I'm not going to really go ahead and buy any. And I still have my brew and my L'Oreal and some of those ones. The OGX were all for different things. Like I said, one was the oxygen one, one was the bamboo one, one was for the coconut curls. Um... I'm trying to think of some of the other ones, coconut water, just all these different ones. And also the hair products like the 
uh, creams and sprays and oils and just different things, um, which all the vitamin E oil, that's another one I really liked. So I was trying them all out, working with them and everything. Okay, but then I got to thinking, I was only using one company though. Like they might've had each one for a different thing, but I was working with one company. And my hair actually started to me, I was feeling like I was noticing like it was a little more frizzy. It wasn't looking so healthy. In between times, I used my L'Oreal, the oil infused L'Oreal shampoo and conditioner that I like really well for curly hair and some of the deep conditioning masks like the, um, what is it? The three minute miracle, whatever from Aussie. I felt like, you know, cause those seem to then revamp my hair and make it feel better again, or by detoxifying that lemon stuff or the brew. So I'm kind of wondering, and I don't like to really come on here and say, um, OGX isn't good. Um, cause the coconut curl one seemed to work really good for me. Um, the coconut curl one, like the shampoo and conditioner, it seemed to be work fine for me. The other products seem fine to me, but is there something in it that, you know, like it, is there something in it that's potentially dry, can dry your hair out? I don't know what to do with the whole OGX thing. Um, I might still try and use the products in conjunction, like as in after, after she said that, my husband and I knew we were going to be going out to Walmart. I went out and I bought Tresemme, which I like Tresemme company. And they have a curl, a curl shampoo and conditioner, some kind of curling one. And I bought that. It was something to help condition the curls and all that. And just the other day, I bought something from the Michael or no, wait, Mark Anthony for curls. I bought a couple other things, even products like the sprays and everything. I think what I'm going to do is go back to my rotating. Like right now, I just used the last couple, uh, things for my hair. I use the Tresemme and I feel like my hair, like I really do feel like my hair feels a little bit better. Like it feels better. It does. It feels better. I mean, it, it really does. I don't know if it shows off on camera compared to my last couple videos. If you look, I think what I'm going to do is that's, that's how I'm going to do it. Like I use my Tresemme, maybe use the coconut curl, like rotate it. Like how I always did with my hair products, like one week, this brand and that brand and that and I'll update you guys, let you know how that's working out for me. If I'm doing that, will it really um, show that the OGX isn't a problem? You know, their products, I don't know. I don't, I guess all their products isn't for everybody. Now, if you use, if you use any of the products that I mentioned or OGX and you really like the products and everything, do what works for you. I wouldn't tell anybody not to like stop using any products or anything like that. I wouldn't tell them to stop them or anything. I would do what works for you because if it's working for you, just keep doing it. You know, there's no point in stopping it if it's working for you. That's one thing I would never do. Like if somebody said, well, it works for me, then that's great because, you know, at least, you know, it's working for somebody or, or other people. It just has me questioning. <laughs> and I hate to say that because I don't want to ditch anybody and I don't really feel like I'm, but it just makes me wonder. And I just want to put that out there for you guys. And I wanted to know what you guys think. I know everybody has such different hair textures and stuff. So we have to keep that in mind. But have you, what do you, what are your guys thoughts on OGX? Do you like them? Have you used their products? Have you had problems with their products? Um, did you see Melissa's video and hi, Melissa, if you're watching, I don't know if she's going to be watching, but hi, Melissa, if you are, I'm going to tag her, but I don't know if she'll be watching, but anyway, just what are your guys thoughts? Really? Seriously? You know, like it really had me thinking because I did notice my hair was looking shabby. One thing to put in there though, for myself, my experience with doing hair, because I'm, I'm a hair junkie as much as I am a makeup junkie. I will tell you one experience though. So I guess that's why I'm not sure what to think. I have noticed if I use one brand, like let's say I use Tresemme and I keep using them for the month and a half. After a while, I feel like my hair needs something else because it's not looking too shabby. So then that's kind of where my rotation started. I started noticing like using one brand straight up the whole entire month or two 
um, I felt like I needed a change and you need to rotate because you need something different for your hair to revitalize it again. That's my experience with hair products and that's why I always rotated. But I quickly changed my shampoo and I noticed a difference in the feel of my hair from the last couple weeks actually, as a matter of fact, when I used the Tresme. So maybe my hair needed that change. <laughs> but let me know what your guys' thoughts are, please. All right, that's it. I give you gammed enough. I'm definitely gonna be editing editing this. So all right, beauties, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate that. Do not forget to check all the links down below. Check the link out for the shout out. Check the link out for um, the uh, new Mab giveaway. Check out all the Mab ladies. If you are joining the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to all the Mab ladies. All links will be down below. Check um, Lulu on Beauty and Melissa Autry as well. Thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate that. Um, if you did like my video, please give me a thumbs up. That would mean so much to me and help me out a lot. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can come and join me each week. So go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.